Historically, the Great Pyramids of Egypt at Giza have been portrayed as huge and glorious tombs for pharaohs and queens. This understanding has been discussed by many theories and studies. However, through the last 20 years, new discoveries have been revealing more questions that these theories were not able to explain. This has led to rethinking the findings and rearranging the parts into the formation of a new and well-established theory that has emerged in the last 15 years by Christopher Dunn and others. This theory suggests that the sophisticated structure and design of the pyramids is indicative of a functional purpose more than spiritual. Measurements and scientific studies have been conducted to further prove that those pyramids were built to function as electrical generators and wirelessly transmit this electric energy across Egypt. Recent research advancements have been achieved by an MIT, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, team back in 2007. The results of these latest efforts had showed that it is possible to transmit up to 60 W over a distance of about 2 meters using resonant magnetic coupling between two coils, this technology is named commercially as Witricity. There are many archaeological evidences that support that the Great Pyramids were never meant to be tombs. Among those is that, no inscriptions of any kind appear in the corridors of the Great Pyramids, in contrary with what was found in all other tombs discovered elsewhere. This suggests a functional building, rather than a mausoleum. Also, the empty stone chest that was found inside the king's chamber had no signs of chemical remains of buried body. Additionally, the salt remains on the walls of the queen's chamber indicate that it has been used to host some chemical reaction and no soot has been found in the corridors of the pyramids or the tombs of the kings to indicate that regular fire torches were used to light these places. The structure and design of the pyramids emphasize its electrical nature even more. The outer casing of the pyramid was covered with white tufa limestone. The white tufa limestone does not contain magnesium and has high insulating properties. This insulation property prevented the electricity inside the pyramid from being released without control. Also, the chambers and the passages connecting them are made of granite which is a good electrical conductor, slightly radioactive, and is formed of about 55% of quartz crystals. Quartz crystals are known for stimulating electrons to flow when they are mechanically vibrated or stressed, piezoelectric effect. This theory suggests that the queen chamber was hosting a chemical reaction to generate hydrogen. The resulting hydrogen will fill all the interior passages and chambers. The equipment that provided the priming pulses is assumed to be the subterranean chamber. The distance between the five granite beams on the top of the king's chamber are adjustable and will be adjusted to the frequency generated by the subterranean chamber, the resonance frequency of the earth, this tuning will create a resonance coupling that will cause the vibrational energy of the earth to flow through the pyramid. The Witricity technology is based on efficiently exchanging energy between two coupled coils resonators which are equipped with impedance matching network, IMN, at each coil to ensure that each coil is tuned at the selected resonant. The granite beams are not needed for weight support or adding extra strength to the structure above the chamber. The northern shaft served as the conduit, or a waveguide along with its metal lining, to pass the microwave signal created by the hydrogen that fills the universe and constantly bombarding the earth. Additionally, the hydrogen that is filling the pyramid passages will absorb the generated energy resulting in pumping its only electron to the higher energy state. 